Hey everyone, hope you're doing well today, Trancher Dan here. I'm going to be doing a malt update video and I've actually got quite a few teas to go through. So I'm going to go through and just show you some of my recent tarantula malts and then at the end I will be trying to feed one of them which I'm a little bit disappointed that it malted but hopefully you'll still enjoy it. So starting off we have the Hapalopa species Columbia large, the pumpkin patch. Now I will take the vial off this to just try and show you the spider which will be rehoused but um, the likelihood of you being able to see this spider is very, very slim because of how you can just see it down there. Teeny tiny little spider. And the malt is actually on the left hand side, sort of tucked away. So, yeah, still a very, very small spider, but uh, definitely one of the. Um, most attractive dwarf species I think um, as well as the uh, I do like the Syria Cosmos uh, genus as well so I might get some more of those in the future uh, next up is the Sama Parisimonia the Venezuelan Sun Tiger okay then so the malt is just down here you can see the white dots on the legs it looks quite pale and the actual spider is just down here So yeah, there's a spoiler. So I shall be feeding that in a few days, as well as all of these spoilers I will be feeding, and uh, some of them will be rehoused. So next up is the Lacidoa Polychus palatus, the Peruvian blonde, and this one actually molted a week after I got the uh, spider at the Western Invertebrate Show. So the mold is actually just up there. Yeah, uh, very top of the the vial. The trancher is actually just down the side, just down there. Um, I'm not going to take that off because it's going to peel, I think. But uh, unfortunately, she's not out. But she was out uh, just a minute ago. She's obviously gone down because of being disturbed. Okay then, so next up is the two Acanscaria genicolata. Uh, both of these have molted. If I need to take the lid off this one first. And the molt is just up here, as you can see. And the spider, of course, has gone down into the uh, gone down into the burrow. It's a shame that that one's not actually out and about on, on show as it was a minute ago. I say as I've moved the, uh, as I picked up all the vials, they've all kind of shot off. Yeah, the second one again has gone down into the boat, which is a shame, but uh, both of these have molted. I can't see that one at all, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, yeah, all of these will be rehoused in the future, in the near future. And there will be, of course, a feeding video on all of these, so please subscribe. So they don't check, so you don't miss that out. Uh, next up, as you can see, the tarantula is just down in that, um, just down here. If I can focus on it, I don't think you, the camera can see. It. You can see the bits of the legs there, and this is the uh, spider that I'm not sure 100% what it is. I think it may be the um, Aesis Ami, um, but I'm 99% sure that that's what it is now. But I'm going to check to uh, so wait to see what that is for sure. Uh, next up, this one's actually out and about, which is pretty good. And you can see it just there. This is the uh, Monocephalus balfouri. So uh, you can see the actual spider just here on the left. And the malt has actually been webbed over just down here. So a uh, very active spider. And... This one molted about three or four days ago, so it's, uh, it's out and about, it's probably ready for some food, so I'll be trying to feed that soon, and of course it will be in another video. So I'm looking forward to when this one starts to show the adult colours, they are a very attractive looking baboon species. So nice that there's actually a spider out and about, which is pretty good. I do like the spiders. Okay then, so next up is the Poglotheria onata. Now I actually have the malt out and about, sort of here in my tweezers, 
because it wasn't able to focus through the plastic for some reason. So yeah, the actual spider is down in the burrow, which is in that uh, that log there, if you can see that. A bit of a tubular burrow. So the spider isn't actually out and about, which is a shame, but uh, hopefully that will be in a feeding video in the future, if it will come out. Okay then, so next up is the uh, Fuxipalma lagunus. The blue bird eater, and this one, I'm quite excited because I've had the lid off, you can just see the actual tarantula there. Okay, then, so there's two things I can confirm about this tarantula after this molt. The first thing is that the leg that was lost originally has been regrown, which is always good news. And the second thing is that it is a female. So um, that's pretty awesome. It molted two days ago, I believe, so I shall be obviously providing it with some water and I will be including it in the next malt feeding video which will be up in hopefully a couple of weeks. Okay then, so with this one I'm going to be very careful because it's actually still in there but just checked upon the spider, just by very carefully lifting this up. And uh, just down there you can see the malt on the left hand side, just here, and the tarantula is here. This is the Gramosola portrait. And that one has molted. I won't be sort of disturbing that anymore, but that's another one that hopefully will be featured in a uh, in a feeding video. Okay, then. So the next tranche to molt is actually the Therophosa sturmi, the Burgundy Goliath bird eater, and you can see the molt is down here, and the tranchula is down there. Now I haven't sexed this molt yet, so I shall be doing that. Um, and will be posting up a picture on my Instagram. So if you'd like to know the sex of this tarantula, uh, please head on over to my Instagram at tarantula Dan, and you can see the post which will be up. And hopefully I'll be able to confirm what uh, what, spe uh, to, what sex this is. Okay then, so the next tarantula that I'm going to be showing you is the Brachypalma albiceps, the golden red rump. And the reason that I love these spiders is just the colours on them. Uh, very big, kind of stocky black uh, legs, the golden carapace, and of course the red rump or abdomen. And yeah, this is a really nice tarantula. I was actually in uh, Discord the other day. I think it was Wednesday night. I was on there for a few hours, and I was actually in like a video. Uh, did like a live video for a bunch of Discord people, and actually got this one out and handled it and sort of showed some people it. This one actually molted about a, about two weeks ago, I think it was. So uh, it was pretty cool to show people who had been asking questions about this particular spider. So yeah, thought I'd just show you that. I don't actually have the molt with me at the moment, but uh, again, this will be in a feeding video in the future. Okay then, so next up is something that I'm quite excited uh, to see. Uh, this is the P. regalis that I got at the Western Invertebrate Show. Um, if you saw the Western Invertebrate Show or the P. regalis handling that I did only a week ago. Um, did I say handling or rehousing then? I did say handling, didn't I? Yeah, the, sorry, the P. regalis rehousing video that I did over a week ago. Um, yeah, this was, a, this was already a huge tarantula. Um, and I've checked up on her and she has now molted as well so I'm going to very carefully oh, that's massive that is a very very big molt that is a molt sort of in half as big as my hand I'll have a better look at that later again I'll put an in a picture of that on my Instagram so yeah, she will be the star of the next uh, feeding video, I think, because I can't wait to see her. I really can't. Uh, I'll put some pictures of the malt on my Instagram, so feel free to head on over to there. Links will be in the description. And now, there's one more spider that I want to show you, and this is the one I'm disappointed about, but uh, I'll explain why in just a second. Okay then everyone, so the next tarantula that I'm going to be showing you the molt of is this one. You may recognise this enclosure from a recent video that I did. And this sadly is the Proglotharia Metallica. So, um, yeah, I mean it's great news, she's molted, molted successfully, she's been out and about, and that's all good. The reason that I am 
disappointed that this spider molted is because this is the one that was gravid. I thought was gravid, she had been paired and um, I hadn't seen it for a while so I was hoping for an egg sac and I got a molt. So that means that she no longer has the sperm, I will not be getting an egg sac from this species and it means I will be looking at doing a another um, breathing attempt with this tarantula in the future. So if you are one of my subscribers from the UK and you happen to have a mature male Prochlotheria metallica and you would like to uh, pair up with a recently molted female, she molted on the 24th of September 2017, so very very recent. Um, so if you'd like to you know sort of pair up and do a 50-50 or you have one for sale then let me know because she is very very fresh disappointingly so i'm going to um actually because it's been um over a week now since she molted i'm going to be trying to feed her so she is down the other side so i'm going to move the camera in just a second and i will try and feed her and hopefully we can have a look at her Okay then, so here she is, and this is actually Kim's first time seeing, is this the first time you've seen it in person? Or? Yeah. Yeah, so this is the first time that Kim has seen this tarantula in person, and she literally just said wow. So uh, yeah, this is a freshly molted P. Metallica. Um, she is absolutely beautiful, I mean, the yellow on it is like, almost like a neon yellow, uh, very uh, bright white and very deep blue uh, they're just gorgeous um, worth the money you pay for these so she's out and about and I have a volunteer uh, who kindly was happy to uh, to be fed so I'm gonna try and feed this roach sadly I didn't get that take down on camera because it went into the burrow but um, yeah, she's uh, she's got that under control. She's currently injecting it with uh, with loads of enzymes that will paralyze it, and then she will drink up the uh, drink up the rest like a giant cockroach smoothie that I would imagine tastes pretty horrendous to be fair. So. So yeah, she's got that under control. It is still trying to uh, to move, but it's uh, it's already dead as far as you know. As things are concerned, I guess. And yeah, this is what a penis like actually looks like. There's a lot of uh, videos on Facebook at the moment that people keep tagging me in of um, ones that have been heavily edited. Um, this is, there is no editing in this, this is purely just, um, this is purely just, uh, light. There's no other special editing or anything gone into this. So yeah, this is what Pima Salicos actually look like. Okay then, so that's the end of this video. That's all of my recent molts for the month of September. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. And also stay tuned, I'm doing a giveaway which will be announced next week uh, for Europe, UK and America. So you will definitely want to watch Tuesday's video so you don't miss that. Uh, and yeah, don't forget to check out the links in the description. Let me know what you think of the video. And as always, thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you all soon in the next video.